Corinthians 6, 9. It says, fornicators will not inherit the kingdom of God. You know what fornicators mean? Indulging in sex with the person and you're not married. But my question is, does fornicating include masturbating? Or is it like two separate, two separate things? That's a real question. I need y'all to help me out. Help us out. <laughs> Yeah. I wanna see all my people win, and we know that I love you, then I got you to the end, and you snow that Everybody used to show me love, where it go at? I was born to sound, I speak my mind and get that glow back talking with a sis because um i'm trying out these whitening strips i've never done whitening strips before but i feel like my teeth so desperately needs to be um, whitened i do get teeth cleanings every six months and it's definitely time for a teeth cleaning but whitening wise i definitely need to start getting my teeth whitened because i don't like that natural pearl look <laughs> i want like pearly whites not natural pearl teeth okay who doesn't want white teeth so i'm trying out these high smile teeth whitening strips so i'm supposed to let it sit for 30 minutes well you're supposed to instantly see results on your teeth so i'm excited to see because um my teeth definitely i definitely want whiter teeth and i kind of see them working i'm just a little nervous because these two teeth next to my two big middle teeth these teeth right here they used to be sharp. I used to have veins, like a vampire. Literally, I used to have veins. So when I was in high school, my mom had the dentist fill them out. So that's why they're square. So I have issues with that now because I feel like um, those two teeth are darker than the rest of my teeth. So I'm a little afraid that if I do these strips, well, I am doing these strips, 
that my teeth is gonna whiten but those two teeth are gonna stay dark hopefully that's not the case um we'll see I'm gonna let it sit for 30 minutes I swear if my teeth is like shining white after this I'm gonna be cheesing throughout this entire vlog I'm gonna tell you that right now okay and these contacts are definitely inspired by Miss Barbara Ann which is our grandma <laughs> yeah I went ended up a uh, shampooing my hair and just like refreshing the tape bins i cut them obviously from the last time and they look so good i feel like it looks so natural you know i'm trying to stick with the tape bins right now because i want to give my skin a break i'm trying to stretch out the because I, I i would do the self tanning that i was talking about in the last vlog but i'm trying to like wait it out and just like take care of my skin do some um, chemical exfoliating things of that nature and hopefully it helps which I feel like it kind of has it just, I don't feel like it looks that bad I mean as bad but we'll see I'm gonna give it some time and I also want to get used to my forehead I feel like look they say all pretty girls have big foreheads which is true <laughs> if you think about it Aaliyah J <laughs> Aaliyah's face Maya Rihanna like the list literally can go on about who got big foreheads all the pretty women have big foreheads but yeah let me catch you guys up on what's been going on I'm, look, I'm so excited I'm gonna <laughs> catch you guys up on what's been going on with me for the past couple of days I have been like extremely sick like really sick these past couple of days and Saturday I spent my entire day editing right I was editing this vlog the last vlog that you guys should have seen a lot of you guys didn't see it yet I don't know where my kindred's at but y'all not watching my videos I don't know if y'all got the bell notification button on or what I don't know if y'all just lost interest I don't know what the deal is but yeah if you have seen it you're a real one but anyways yeah i was editing the vlog all day it literally took me all day and then last minute i decided at like 9 10 o'clock at night to run me a nice bubble bath water and i had brought my laptop in and just finished my last bits of editing while i was taking a nice relaxing bath and then my homegirl she hit me up and she was actually going to dinner she was meeting one of her girlfriends for dinner and then we were just like talking for a little bit and then we decided that I was just going to meet them for hookah and drinks afterwards so by the time I met them for hookah and drinks it was like 12 o'clock at night and we have a good old time and the place closes at like 2 30 but I just knew that I was just gonna have like some more energy in me to like kick it for like another hour or two and plus I had just put on my outfit my outfit was cute not enough people seen it I'm just like yeah so I had like texted this guy that you know I was like hey are you outside tonight like what are you doing he's like yeah I'm about to go um to such and such with my friend that I said like, do you want some company he was like it's just us two right now but after hours if you up for it yeah I was like okay so when 2 30 came and we're like closing our tabs and stuff I texted him and I was like hey um where did you end up going how is it looking let me know and I waited, he didn't text me back. So I ended up just calling me an Uber to go home. But while I'm in the Uber headed home, I'm like, I don't wanna I don't wanna go home yet. Like I just came outside. So I ended up changing my destination and going to an after hour spot that I'm personally familiar with. So I walk in there, I go straight to the restroom, you know, get myself together because it's after hours, I'm by myself. I need I need to make sure I look good so that way, you know what I'm saying, I can go sit down somewhere. You know what I'm so I got I walk out to the restroom and then this guy grabs my arm. He's like, Nas Nas. Everybody calls me Nas. And he's like, Nas Nas, hey, he gives me a hug, give me a kiss on the cheek. And then I look over and that's the the guy next to him is the guy that I was texting. So he was, you know, being honest, it was literally just him and his friend. They were literally in the section just by themselves, just chilling. And um, he was like, he was, <laughs> he was looking at me. He was like, and I'm like, what? And he was like, I just text you talking about, oh, he didn't see that I had texted him earlier. He, he, what a coincidence. He just texted me and told me to come here. I sit down. Cause he's like, come sit, come sit next to me. He like, puts his little, you know, and I look at my phone. This man texted me when I was in the bathroom. That man saw me walk in. That's why he texted me. Men get on my freaking nerves and be lying. If you don't want to kick it, if you want to hang out with your homeboy, fine. But don't be trying to flex. So I'm like, oh, I texted you, told you to come. No, you didn't. 
you saw me walk in and you didn't want to look like an a-hole but yeah it's literally just us three in the section and we're just having a good time having good vibes smoking hookah having drink you know but i knew i shouldn't have been drinking more i really just wanted to go to another spot so that way i my outfit could be seen <laughs> and i could just catch a vibe but drinking wise i knew i shouldn't have been drinking anymore because i was already drinking and having hookah on an empty stomach last time i ate was like around noonish. i had like leftovers and stuff yeah, so like I'm drinking on an empty stomach. By the end of the night, I'm not feeling well. Um, mind you, he's taking me home. I did not want to call me an Uber because I had literally already spent a hundred dollars on Uber because I had spent like forty something dollars going to go meet the girls, and then I spent almost fifty something dollars to go to the after hour spot because of the time of night and then it changed the destination and then all of that. So yeah, I did not want to pay for Uber. So he was gonna take me home. But so I had to wait for him to close out the tab. But I just literally was not feeling good and I was trying to hide it. Oh my god. So I ended up just stepping away, going to the restroom to get some fresh air and I just started to feel really nauseous and like dizzy. So I was like, okay Nausea, just throw this shit up. Like just throw like throw it up. Like it'll make you feel better. So I stuck my fingers down my throat to um, um, make myself like vomit and I did that washed my hands and then went back I felt better and then that was in the night went home that was in the night I wake up the next day I got like my throat is irritated I'm like mm -mm, what the hell going on here don't be trying to get sick now Jay you know I got time for that so that was my whole day like on Sunday Monday came I woke up my left tonsil was swollen like it was horrible couldn't swallow it was just like it was horrible and then I found I felt myself trying to catch a fever so I'm like bro what the fuck is going on so I'm like thinking because I'm like how old are we like why am I getting sick right now can't nobody afford to get sick that's the thing about this damn camera it literally overheats in like five minutes so my camera shuts off all the time which the Canon would never but um I forgot even where I left off so I think about I'm starting to think about it I'm like I started to get like this cringing feeling because I'm like, no, you didn't, Ajay. Mind you, okay, mind you, I've been touching bottles, doors, Uber doors, chairs, people, like clothes, bathroom doors, bathroom sinks, the bathroom toilet, so that way I could lift it up and like throw up. And I did not wash my hands before I did that. I stuck my dirty, infested fingers in the back of my throat and then on top of that i had vomited i can only imagine the amount of bacteria that i put in my mouth that night i felt so gross thinking about that the other day i'm like well, not jay what the what you thinking like are you effing serious right now so that's why you're walking around here feeling like who the f did it and why so yeah so i tried to like instantly i was like oh no i gotta self-medicate myself because this is like horrible i'm thinking like i could have like i could have like anything going on with me like in my throat are you serious like no i felt myself trying to catch a fever and everything i'm like no we gotta like nip this in the butt now so i go to the extreme please do not do this but i go to the extreme so after my surgery they have prescribed me a moxie they have prescribed me um what's it called oh yeah sorry i had to look <laughs> but after my surgery they had prescribed me clindamycin but i'm actually allergic to penicillin so they like i said they, they ended up prescribing me a whole thing of clindamycin they also gave me a couple days later a um a prescription for amoxicillin so they wanted me to take that instead and just stop taking the clindamycin but i still have the clindamycin so i looked up how to treat um how to treat like strep throat so i'm like i must have strep throat so and it says that you can use clindamycin to treat strep throat so i took like clindamycin i was taking clindamycin i took like three dosages and it's supposed to take like four days i took like three but i wasn't feeling better i'm like mm, this is i know i like it uh-uh because then i started like catching up uh, I, I really got a fever i felt that i got a fever because my body was so cold it was in chills typically everybody knows literally everybody knows that my house is always cold my house is always chill like i like the ac i love the ac like 365 days out of the year 24 7 i have it in between like 67 and 68 i literally had to put my heat on and it was up to 80 for the most part but i ended up having to not take it up all the way to like 85 
and I was still cold. That's how sick I was. I had the chills. It was real bad. And my head was hurting. My tonsil was swollen. It was hard for me to eat. It was just like, I was like feeling like complete crap. So I like took some Tylenol. Sometimes that would work for like a little bit. It would give me like enough energy to like move around and do little things. But I felt really bad these past couple of days. So, um, it, okay, I know this is like a long story, but my, I just want to tell you guys like everything that's been going on these past couple days. So, yeah, I've been feeling like crap. So, I, I ended up like asking the guy, I was like, hey, you know, I'm not feeling well. Do you mind bringing me some, I forgot, chlor, chloroceptive, chloroceptive or something like, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it's basically uh, for like strep throat. You can spray it in the back of your throat. I remember when I got strep throat when I was younger and i had used that and i felt like it immediately like kind of like knocked it out within like a day or two so i asked him to bring that he was like oh i'm running errands right now on his side of town see it just stops recording it's so annoying but he was like when i'm done you know da -da -da. the whole entire day went by i had not hear from him pause okay that's like reverse now so my friend a friend of mine she has like this wall desk right that you mount on the wall that she never used, um, never really finished like fully unpacking it, and she was giving it away for free. So I was like, girl, I can utilize that, you know. So she came and dropped it off. I had to go downstairs with the car, sick and all. I have like my mask and like my mask on and like my glasses and you know. And I go downstairs, grab the stuff. I get on the elevator. This other girl, like Asian girl, she gets into the elevator as well, and. Um, you know, she's trying to like talk to me, but my energy is so low because I do not feel good. But she's like trying to talk to me and she's like, um, oh, you have a lot. You know, she's like, oh, you have a lot on your plate tonight. You know, I could never. I was like, yeah, you know, I'm, yeah. And she was like, do you have a toolkit? And I'm like, no. And she was like, I do. I never use it. You can borrow mine so I can bring it up. Da -da -da. I was like, oh, that's really kind of you. Thank you. I appreciate that. So the next day, she ends up bringing up her toolkit. And I look like shit. I feel like shit. And she's like, oh my god, are you okay? And I was like, girl, no. I am like under the weather right now. I feel like, you know, my tonsils are swollen. And as soon as I said that, she had like, oh. <laughs> and as soon as I said that, she's like, oh. Because if you, like, stuff like that, that's like contagious. Like, you want to stay away from people who have, like, sore throats and things of that nature. So, I was like, yeah, I know. But I'm going to sanitize your toolbox. Um before I give it back and she was like yeah you should she's like yeah you know do you need anything I was like no I'm fine but you know thank you she's like I'm gonna be back and I was like okay <laughs> so she ends up texting me she, she ends up texting me later on the day which is the same day that I asked the guy to bring me some stuff and she was like you know do you need anything I'm going to blah blah, blah. and I had a originally told her that I needed some tissue. I was like, actually, could you grab me two rolls of tissue? You know, I'll give you the cash, because I was running low on tissue. And then, so she comes back and she t tells me that she got me like a little health, she was putting a little health kit together. And I'm like, oh my God, you're so sweet. So she ends up coming up to my apartment. She knocks on the door, I go to the door. And there's like this huge bag of like health stuff. I'm like, oh my god, she got me not two rolls of tissue first and foremost. She got me like two, four, six, eight rolls of tissue above and beyond. And then she got me like these um, these gummies that are supposed to be like really good for like shortening your colds. And then she ended up getting me some like vapor stuff for your chest and and some um um pedialyte you know for hydration she got me some fresh fruit and um um some like chamomile tea energy booster shots you know she got me a lot of stuff actually and even a thermometer but the thermometer she wants back but she even got me a thermometer so i can check my temperature so kind i'm like oh my god how much do i owe you and she was like girl no i'm just uh doing it being a neighbor doing a neighborly thing you know she had just moved here back in september but she moved into our building in the end of february and she was just like you know um if you ever need anything just let me know and of course vice versa i'm like oh my god she is like so sweet like because you've never come across like genuinely kind people who don't want anything in return like, I thought that that was really nice of her. It was very extreme. I'm like, oh my God, she's so nice. Like, this, I love people like that because I'm a really nice person. So when I meet other nice people who are even nicer than me, I'm just like, wow, this is 
this is like amazing like god he's like you're an angel like god this isn't this is an angel right <laughs> so yeah that was really 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 nice of her so last night i had like took that like short and cold um like thing and i kind of actually started feeling a little better after i took that i took my temperature and i did have a temperature um which which is i can only imagine what it was before because i wasn't feeling as bad um in that moment but my temperature at that moment when i took it was like 101.9 so i was like yeah okay um so i ended up taking a shower and then i ended up drinking some pee like and then i took some um Oh, she also got me some Alka-Seltzer, like, day and night pills. Uh, kind of like day cool, night cool. So I took some day cool ones, and I started to feel better. I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, wow. So that was last night, literally. And I wake up in the middle of the night, and I'm sweating. I'm, like, sweating. Like, I sweat. Same thing literally just happened with my camera. I'm so annoyed about that. But, um, yeah. Like, oh, last night or this morning, or this morning, because that's when I kind of lay down. It was, like, 4 o'clock in the morning. Um, throughout the morning, um, I'm sweating. I'm literally, like, sweating. Like, drenched sweating. So that's how I know, okay, like, my body is now fighting this off. And it's, like, trying to sweat whatever it is that was trying to attack me out. And I'm feeling better today. So I still don't feel my absolute best. I still, my throat is a little irritated, but it's not as swollen as before, which is great. And um, I do have energy to so obviously record. And then I have these wigs that I need to literally finish today. I wanted to finish them last night. I literally just did not have the energy. I wanted to have it at the post office by today, but I don't know if that's possible i mean the post office doesn't close until 7 and it's only 12 48 so depending um yeah it just depends so we'll see so i'm gonna like get to work like right now but yeah so that's that like that was i just wanted to share that that was like really kind you know and mind you i have the <laughs> mind you the guy didn't even <laughs> when i asked the guy to bring me some stuff where's the stuff where he at he been texting me though about like his car but where is the medicine i requested sir you know but that's okay it's, look obviously i don't need you god done sent this darn angel to bring all of this stuff and now i'm feeling so much better because of her oh my god literally because of her so i need to think of something to um do to show my like as a token of my appreciation i need to like do something i mean i could obviously always like send flowers or something like that but i kind of want to do something different i know i want to like ask her to like lunch next week or something and then like i take care of lunch but i want to do something nice because that was like really nice of her she did not have to do that and i definitely feel better like she helped me get back into the bag okay so i'm gonna have to you know return the favor so yeah so that was that was that that was really nice and then i also have this guy in my building where he literally does not want anything but he checks up on me all the time so like when i had my surgery you know he was checking up on me make sure that i was good brought me soup you know what i'm saying brought me water things of that nature so this time he just randomly was like you know checking up on me and then i told him like i wasn't feeling well this man brought me chicken noodle soup from this like mexican spot that chicken noodle soup was so good oh my god and then yesterday he ended up bringing me some jerk chicken some rice and peas some um cabbage and plantains oh my god that was like oh it was so good i just love genuine people who literally does things out of the kindness of their heart and uh, not to receive something like i just love good-hearted nice genuine sweet kind-hearted people so yeah i love that i love that i love that for the world i love that i just love that but um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get to work now um i have a lot that i need to do actually so i'm going to Take you guys with me so yeah i have all of these wigs that i need to work on so these two wigs i had already made yesterday i just did not get to um customizing them so i need to bleach the knots i need to color this one jet black and then this one i think i kind of want to do like a brown color not really sure yet but i need to figure it out because i want to have this up 
on the website and then these are like wigs that needs to be revamped they're already washed like shampooed and conditioned i just need to style them these are going to be a part of the revamp um splash gel that i told you guys about these two wigs someone had like gave to me she's going on a trip on friday and she wants me to revamp them for her so i'm going to be coloring these black as well and then just like trying to revamp the wig and customize the hairline again um i don't have any new lace to work with so we're just going to be working with the lace that we already have and then this wig right here uh part of me want to color it because i already like bleached the knots i already i'm basically done with this wig um i don't want to do too much to the hairline because i don't know i just have to style it i don't but a part of me kind of want to color it black which i might actually do that make this jet black because who doesn't love a jet black wig and then that's another one of the revamp wigs don't judge because I'll be getting the wigs together okay so this is everything that I'm going to be using this is um, the black color that I'm going to be using toners developer this is what I was thinking about the cinnamon brown that's what I was thinking to use for one of my wigs but um, yeah I also have these bundles that I need to um, lift and tones somebody wants them blonde so i literally have a lot of work to do i think these have been in my mouth for 30 minutes now i should probably take them off because i don't want to like ruin my teeth trying to make them white so i'm gonna go take them off and then we're gonna get to work i'm gonna turn some music and we're gonna get to work Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Should I make more layers in the front? Um, I like it like this. It's cute. It's giving me like. It's giving me like. <laughs> Dolly Pine girly. I can hit the blow dryer on me. That should have have it fired. Yeah, I gotta... That's what I was gonna... That's what I was gonna say. You should blow dry, but I was like... Oh, yeah! Here he is. We about to get back into the salon in this bitch. Hold on. If I do it again, I get it right. Okay, so it is the very next day. We had a very productive day yesterday. We got everything done. My client slash new friend had came by today and she picked up her revamp wigs. And so now I am all dressed up and dogged up. I'm about to go to Andre's house and we're about to do pregame because it's our birthday weekend. Okay, so this outfit is just basically recycled. This Top is from Zara, the pants are from Zara, the shoes are Gucci, I'll show you guys later. These earrings, uh, I can't really recall, but these rings are from H&M, and then this big ring is from a company that I've worked with before, I can't remember. And then this bag is actually from Team U, super cute. And uh, yeah, that's just my fit for today. I decided to wear my hair up. I have on this really cute gold clip that I actually got from H&M as well. Cute. The theme is all black, black, silver, you know, um, but I didn't really have silver for accessories, so I decided to wear gold. And I was gonna wear my hair down, but something just told me to go ahead and wear my hair up because I think that it's like super cute, effortless, and just like, yeah. So I'm just waiting for Angui to get here because she's um, taking pictures right now somewhere else, like across the street. So I'm just waiting for her to get here and then we're gonna have a nice little free game segment. No, it's not. <laughs> what did you mean? It's not, um, it's not as much decor as usual. It's the, oh, I forgot my light. Oh my gosh, it's so quiet in here. Welcome to my oh, home. Happy birthday. birthday. I love birthdays now. How about now? We doing a countdown. Let's see. A four, fifth, six, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelve. Eight more days. One more week. Huh? One more week. Oh, to mine? You about to be yeah. 26? Unfortunately, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Really? Yeah. It's giving grown, okay? I don't want to be in a You don't? Mm, you do mine? I don't mind, yeah. Oh, you don't mind? Yeah, yeah. You ain't in my way. True. I got to go back to my channel. Period. Aw, so now you're a part of the closer to 38. Closer to the 30 oh, no. group, yes. No. Mm -hmm. We like that. Now yeah. I don't feel left out. Look. <laughs> I'll be How old are you, Fika? 24. Oh. You turn 25 in July. Aw. She got one more year. I'm turning 25. <laughs> Girl, let me know. If you turn 25, I'm turning 25. I turned 24 <laughs> last year. Yeah. Aww. Um, I was going to have a charcuterie board. What happened? I don't make it pork, so. Oh. Um, I don't eat pork either. Okay, but the cheese yeah. be good. <laughs> huh? What? I said good job. Yeah. Um, um, between the Sony and the Canon, which one has better quality? Okay. I think Sony has like the blurring feature, but I don't like that feature, so. I really don't know. You can take it off. Yeah, really? you can take it off. Yeah. So, this is what I think. I think that the Sony has great quality. The only thing I don't like about this damn Sony is it shuts off after five minutes of recording and the camera would true. never. That's true. Um, I had the battery like in the battery life. Bad. The Canon would never. The only thing I didn't like about the cam Canon is the autofocus. But mm. this I don't have autofocus problem and the quality is great. I just mm. dropped it by the way. I just got a camera and I just dropped it. I want to stop vlogging too. But for vlogging wise, I think that the Canon is great because it has great stabilization and um for moving wise vlog i like it don't look like you're doing too much does that make sense mm -hmm. Talk before. you can use your phone just get a gimbal i 
can't see. I need to see myself. Uh, turns yeah, I need to see what I look like. Hi guys! Welcome to day two of this vlog. It is my birthday pregame. My birthday is still Oh yeah, I like this. Hello? So I'm all dressed up and ready to go. I just finished taking pictures. They look so awesome. Show my love for you. Can I show my love for you? Can I show my love for you? Free range. Basically, I'm like, why didn't you just say free range 
eggs. Why Why could you say that? But anyway, so I had to get me some eggs. They went up on the prices of eggs, y'all. Eggs is damn near motherfucking five dollars. That is not a I got my turkey bacon. Even though I got turkey bacon in the refrigerator, I just know I go through turkey bacon. So got me another pack of turkey bacon for my breakfast. You know, I'm gonna make me some like, I'm gonna tell y'all in a minute. Then I got some, um, what do you call it? Like BBQ cut salmon. That helped me kind of like, basically helped me with the little meal prep that I'm gonna be doing on Sunday. Three slices already cut. Man. And then I got some, don't judge me y'all, but I feel like my vegetables be going to waste sometimes because I don't go through it fast enough. So I got some frozen Brussels sprouts. That's what it is. And then I got some avocado mix. Same thing, when I buy avocado, I feel like I just don't, I don't go through it fast enough, so they go back. So I went ahead and got some avocado that's already mashed. This was only like $3, and I'm gonna be using this for my breakfast, my bagels, and stuff like that. So, yeah, I got that. And then I went ahead and got some turkey breast, some roasted turkey breast uh, that I'm gonna be using for my sandwiches. And I got some pepper jack cheese. And I got like this really, or I already got this seasoning, I mean, not the seasoning, this sauce in the refrigerator from Trader Joe's called the Magnifi Sauce. The Magnifi Sauce. The Magnifi Sauce. This sauce right here is too good. I eat it with everything. I eat it with my tuna, with my turkey sandwiches, and I got me some turkey burgers as well. Some frozen turkey burgers. I'm also gonna eat it with the turkey burger. You know? And then. I got some sweet potato fries for when I do decide to make me some turkey burgers. I got some sweet potato fries. I got my turkey burger. Got some chips, you know. Got the whole shebang bag. Then I had to get the all the what do you call it? The ultimate or my all-time favorite, which is the uh, mushroom black and truffle flatbread. It's so good. I just add some seasoning on there, like some garlic powder, some onion powder, um, a little bit of a little bit of salt and some mozzarella cheese, and some buffalo sauce. <gasps> Did I run out of buffalo sauce? Damn. No, oh, I got enough just for that. Got enough just for that. Then I had to go ahead and re up on some blueberries. I like to put these in my smoothies. Um, damn, I forgot the mother freaking Greek yogurt. Gosh, yeah. Okay. And then I went ahead and got me some fresh cut watermelons. So good. Ever since that girl got me that fresh bowl of fruit with the watermelon, I'm like, oh, I didn't know I like watermelon this darn much, you know? And then I feel like I got this in the refrigerator. So I'm gonna be mad if I do and it's not gone yet. Okay, it's almost gone. So I did need this. This is my hot cocoa. Last time I went to Trader Joe's, I had got this hot cocoa cream cheese bread that I've never tried before and I fell in love. So this stuff is so good. This is the hot cocoa um, cream cheese spread by Trader Joe's. That's bag number two. Look at that. That's a lot of food already. We're about to go to bag number three. Hold up. my sweet tooth so I got these I used to get these a lot back when I was in New York these oatmeal cranberry dunker cookies these things are so good and they last me a long time because yeah I just grab like two or three at a time and then I just snack on it when I got a little sweet tooth and then I had to get me some rice well I have rice but I kind of wanted some pilaf rice so I got some a box of pilaf rice that's already seasoned and stuff I got some Fresh bananas, some fresh bananas, and these are definitely only for my smoothies. I love banana in my smoothie with peanut butter and honey and blueberries and spinach. Oh, too good. And then I got these, I got this uh, chicken in the refrigerator, so one day I can make me some stir fry or something, so I got me some stir fry sauce. Mm -hmm. That wasn't a necessity, but I figured my taste buds really needed it. But it was only like three dollars. Could pass it. Could pass it. Then I saw this damn. I saw this darn jalapeno lemon lime lemonade. I saw this darn jalapeno lime egg 
on the counter. And I'm like, this look, this look like this gonna last me a while. Cause I'm like, lime, I love lime, but jalapeno make it spicy. That means I can't just sit here and drink it all day, every day, right? That's why I got it. And as I'm like walking around Trader Joe's, you know, sometimes they have like a little stand where you can try stuff. Why was this on the stand? So I was like, oh, well, let me try this since it's already in my cart. I tried it. This stuff right here is so good. If I ain't put y'all on nothing, and if you ain't never seen this before, tell them Najee sent you, okay? Tell the, tell the good tell the good guys, tell the good spirits that Najee sent you. You should try it for real. So, then I went ahead and just got some um, pina noodles, pina, pina noodles for my, I got some frozen chicken. I got some chicken in the freezer, some chicken breast so I can make me like a chick, nice, I don't know, Alfredo, chicken Alfredo type of pasta. One of these nice. Of course, I had to get my Nalupu her little treat. She got her chicken, chicken tender treats. Look, she already on her high legs right now. And she already know what it is. She deserves it. I think these were only like $4.99. And they smell good. They're, uh, yeah, they're dog treats. Smoked chicken tender. They're supposed to be 100% chicken. So, yeah. And then, one last thing, I had to re up on some agua. So literally that's everything that I got from Trader Joe's and everything came up to $107.16. So all of this food is definitely gonna last me for the next two weeks. I can make this stretch for a week and a half. Shoot, I can make this stretch for like a week and a half or two for $100. You go out to eat, you gonna spend about $100 and that's just one meal. This stuff gonna last me for about a week and a half. For sure. Yup. Hmm. Oh, I love me some Trader Joe's. I love, I love Trader Joe's. When you're trying to go shopping on a budget, Trader Joe's is like the go-to. Because Publix be expensive. Y'all already know Whole Foods is expensive. I don't know anything else around here, grocery-wise, store. But, yeah. So that is my little grocery haul. I'm about to put my groceries away right now. And then I'm gonna figure out what needs to be done because I got a lot I need to do actually. I'm about to figure out what needs to be done. Good morning. It is the very next day. Y'all, yesterday was single day Mayo and I did not go outside. So I did like run my errands. Like I went to the post office. I went to the beauty spot store. I went to the grocery store and I came home. After I put my groceries away, I literally ate lunch, took a nap, took a nap longer than expected. And then I had to wake up and complete my final little assignments that was due for the semester. And after that, I just like couldn't even sleep. Like, so I've been up all night long and all morning long, um, literally just cleaning, organizing. I, after I showered, I, like, put on, like, some lingerie because I wanted to, like, make myself feel good. And I just laid in the bed until sun was rising. And when sun was rising, I decided to make me some coffee and start editing, you know. And... As I'm editing, I started like, editing, editing um, Angui's like birthday little segment, and I just got really emotional, like super emotional. But I remember last year I got super emotional during Angui's birthday. I don't think I don't even think she knows how like special she is to me. So like, you know, looking at little clips of her just made me like really emotional. And, uh, you know, then that, you know, trying to find, like, old clips and reminiscing. And then, and then I started thinking about when I first moved here. And then I started thinking about, you know, my last relationship and things that happened. And I started thinking about New York and how much I miss New York. And then I started thinking about things that happened when I was in the military. And then I started thinking about my childhood. And then I just had a, a very emotional freaking morning, y'all. And that could also have something to do with me not going to sleep yet. But, yeah. May and November are like super emotional months for me. November because my mom and my grandma's and my dad's birthday is in November. 
and now Mary's birthday is in November, and then May, my birthday, of course, and then then Angui's birthday is in May. You know, I'm just like freaking emotional. I'm just a drama queen, I guess. I don't know. I have like a a built up of emotions that that sometimes it takes a while for me to release. But. But I want to go to the gym because I because <laughs> even when I was editing, I was like, damn, girl, you like put on some freaking weight. So I want to go to the gym. So that's exactly what I'm about to do right now. And then maybe after I work out, I, you know, might feel a little sleepy. I don't know. Maybe I feel energized. I don't know. So I either make me some breakfast or I'll just take a nap and then get up because I want to create content today. I need to do a charm haul. But yeah, I'm about to go ahead and get myself ready to go to the gym.
my god this is going to be in my bedroom i'm literally going to be able to wake up not wake up because you're not supposed to burn candles at night while you're sleeping but i do sometimes but right before i go to bed like when i shower and stuff i'm gonna when i light my candles because i like every single candle in the house when it's time for me to kind of like wind down this is going to be in my room and it's going to just like welcome me to my bedroom and my bed and it's time to go down Oh my god, this smells so good. I am appalled that Dozier and Dozier has um, candles now. Oh, and it's so perfect. Like, I want to do like a, um, a unboxing for like TikTok or something. So I'm not going to like ruin it. But I love how the packaging or the candle is just simple, clean, glass, white label, super cute, aesthetically pleasing. Literally goes with anyone's home decor. And yeah, I'm like super excited about that but yeah they did send over five um perfumes as well but we'll get to that another time but yeah i literally just got in the house from taking my pictures and i am about to make me some dinner because your girl's hungry i'm gonna change out these clothes and hang them back up because i want to do this trial haul for you guys hopefully you guys seen the trial haul before you seen this vlog um i got this fit from h&m was super shocked because i don't shop from h&m really um that's very 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 rare i guess i'd be really sleeping on h&m because h&m has some really cute stuff i got a lot of cute stuff from h&m that i'm gonna be doing a haul on that hopefully you guys seen it before this but yeah this outfit is so cute i wish i had i ran out of boot tape i would have taken my boobs up but i had um ran out of boot tape yesterday so but yeah i'm not saying something to eat well first i'm about to change out of these clothes like i said and then hang this clothes up and then we gonna get to dinner Oh, I love cooking with y'all. I don't know. It's something about the kitchen for me. I just, I got to figure it out. I got to figure out what, what is it about the kitchen? Something's calling me to the kitchen. And I feel like, just like with hair, I got to really like, I got to really like lock into my business. Like really lock into my business because two things for sure that I enjoy doing that I would definitely do for free if it didn't cost to live is hair cook and make drinks okay <laughs> cooking make drinks and doing somebody's hair oh my god i would literally do that for free if it didn't cost to live and that's how i know that those are like my passions and i have to figure out how i can literally monetize to the max of those things because i'll be happy i literally be happy i'd be the happiest girl in the world if i was a freaking billionaire off of those three things we gotta figure it out, y'all. We gotta figure it out. unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Um, be not deceived. Neither fornicators nor idolaters okay, nor adulterers nor effeminate nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Let's stop there. That's just Corinthians 6, 9. Okay. It says, fornicators will not inherit the kingdom of God. You know what fornicators mean? Indulging in sex with the person and you're not married. But my question is, does fornicating include masturbating? Or is it like two separate two separate things? This is a real question. I need y'all to help me out. Helps us out. Nor idealators. Idealizing things that is not God, right? Nor adulterers. So the word effeminate, effeminate, right? I Googled it, because I didn't know what the hell that meant. 
It says that having characteristics of ways of behaving traditionally associated with women and regarded as inappropriate for a man. Okay, right? It says associate that it says traditionally associated with women regarded as inappropriate for man, right? So, if that's the definition of effeminate, right? You know, so uh, uh, having characteristics that is typically associated with women and typically inappropriate for men. If that's the case, then that has necessarily, that doesn't necessarily only apply to men who are homosexual. Because if, by definition, if that's the case, because it doesn't say that, you know, we talk to people like, oh, homosexual is, is, is kids to blah, blah, right? It doesn't say that. It says that, it says the word, it used the word effeminate, right? Whatever that, in the definition is, um, having characteristics that's typically associated with a woman, right? So, all men that I know of, all men have the characteristics and traits of a darn female. Um, so that means that all men going to hell. That's what it says. Because it doesn't say that a woman can't um, have characteristics of a man. It don't say that. Does it? It don't, it don't say that. Effeminate is associated with men having women characteristics, not women having men characteristics. Right? So my question is, since all men going to hell, then, and it doesn't say that women can't have man traits, does that mean that only women who who don't fornicate, ideal, 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 idealize, um, uh, commit adultery, or are abusers of themselves with mankind, are only women allotted and granted the ability to inherit the kingdom of God? Because if that's the case, you can't tell me God isn't a woman. I hate when people try to argue that. You can't tell me God is not a woman. God petty. And according to God, if God was a man, he would be effeminate, right? Because petty behavior is associated with women. And men cannot have characteristics associated or that are typically associated with women traits, right? So you can't tell me that God is not an almighty powerful woman being feminine being can't tell me that because this sit right here this this say right here that men who have characteristics of women are not going to be allotted or not going to inherit the kingdom of god and i took that as all men going to hell and only women are granted the opportunity to be inherited to to inherit the kingdom of god uh, correct me if i'm wrong y'all but i'm gonna keep on reading now we're going to go to Corinthians 6, Corinthians, look, I'm learning, look, I, don't judge me, help me, don't judge me, help me. Corinthians 6, 10 goes to Northeast, nor Covetious, Covetious, let's look that up, because I don't even know what that means, having or showing a great desire to possess things belonging to someone else, okay, okay, got it. Um, nor thieves, nor conventious, nor drunkards. Let me look that up. Drunkards. Meaning. Means a person who is habitually drunk. I'm not habitually drunk. So, let's get that clear. Or, nor, um, revealers. Okay, look, this is hard. What the, what is... Revealers, revealers definition, criticize in an abusive or angrily insulting manner. Okay, I don't do that. Um, nor extortioners, we already know what that means. I don't, I don't, I don't participate in that type of behavior. Um, shall inherit the kingdom of God. Okay, got that. And such were some of you, but ye are washed, um, but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of Lord Jesus and by the spirit of our God. Okay, so I have my main questions were, my main questions are um, fornicating. Is masturbation considered fornicating? K, 
okay two feminine name and minimite the second word can't remember but the second word associated with having men having female tendencies so that just means that men ain't going to heaven all men going to hell you can't tell me god ain't a woman okay that's another thing and then the third thing what was the third thing let me see i forgot i don't know y'all help me out y'all help me understand that verse is Corinthians, Corinthians 6, 9 through 11. Let's talk about that in the comment box. But I got to get back to work. I just saw that and I was like, hmm, let me ask my kindreds because they all know I'm a work in progress. Hit me out. Hit me out, y'all.